<laughs> Take that. Soon this, soon that. I'm not the murderer. All right. Got that out of the way. I'll come back to some more Danganronpa. Trigger Happy Havoc and... Uh, now we shall continue the class trial. Last time we uh, started the class trial, and uh, I can tell you that much, things are starting to get uh, a little bit more difficult as time goes on, I can tell you that much, but uh, hey, I got my alibi over here. There's no way I could have taken the knife. Yeah, that's right. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Ah, shh. I didn't think about that. Do I have like an alibi for that? I uh, I, I, I no, I didn't, didn't. No. Oh shoot. Idiot swimmer girl. Hey, you don't do. You don't insult uh, uh, Hina. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear: if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Monokuma, can you tell us about that? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Ah. So it's pretty much pointless. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Ha <laughs> ha! But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Oh. Well, that would be a. In that case, wouldn't that be a huge. Hmm. Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Well, what if you're lying, Monokuma? Can you tell me about this? Do I have to go all objection on your ass? Or judgment? Huh? <laughs> Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall. And I didn't take the knife. Okay, well, I guess we should take what Monokuma says and... No, there's no accomplice. There's no accomplice. I'm gonna have to side on, uh, side on with the teddy bear of here. So I'm not the killer. I'm not. Okay, so then... Who did take the knife? Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Oh. Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. So you weren't alone. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, <laughs> couldn't okay. either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... Oh... Well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. Man, this thi things are getting really, really complicated now that I'm, um... Now that I'm putting Hina on the line. I didn't think about that. Wait. I stayed in Hina's room last... Huh? I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. <laughs> Good job. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? Nope. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's... unwholesome! Uh... Taka... you... Shh. Don't say that right now! But... I'm a girl. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! Yeah. Taka... maybe you're... Well, who knows? Maybe you are the murderer, maybe you are not. Either way... After the class trial ends, you're gonna die. Either by Monokuma or by Sakura. It kinda depends. So... Sorry. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. 
One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. And please tell me, was it the murderer? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Or who was it? Well, because they're not here anymore. Someone who's not here? Are you talking about... Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Don't tell me that. She took the knife? Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was... Hey, it wasn't Monokuma, it was... Sayaka? I got it. Then... Sayaka is the one who took the knife? Okay, let me think about this. She... She didn't, um... Find, like, any weapon for herself. Maybe she took the knife... Just to protect herself. If it wasn't for the sword... That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... Then the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. Well, that's what I'm thinking as well, Makoto, but... Is it? So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? It could be a possibility. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. Ah, oh, shit! My alibi! What? See? He did do it after all! No, you're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Shoot, 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 shoot! Damn. If I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die. Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Yes, thank you, Kyoko. Save me! Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Sure do. Uh, I guess I, I should be thankful for these tutorials over here. As things advance further in a class trial, the hangman's gambit will eventually take place. The point of this to, is to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question. You have to deduce the phrase from the letters flying around, and the letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the mouse to aim, then press the left mouse button to shoot the desired letters. If you shoot down the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge, Gosh, Gouge? Gouge? Hmm. If this gouge reaches zero, or if you run out of time, you fail. Well then, good luck and have fun! Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. That must be the crucial point. If you can just figure out what that something is. Hangman's Gambit. Whoa! Channeling my inner power over here! What the what is that? Whoa, okay. Uh, fader, letters that. Wait, we have a timer for the. Oh shit, um. Um. H? I think I know what, it, what it's talking about. Huh? Yeah, it's it's this, isn't it? Let's see. Ha! There you go. Wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to hit it like multiple times? 
There you go. Now the hair. Channeling my own power judgment. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So, the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? There you go. It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. Okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... What? What does this mean, Mondo? Does not compute. Does not compute. Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. The room's owner. Then Makoto isn't the culprit? Ah, I see. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? No. There are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Ah, I see where she's going with this. Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. But the murderer didn't know how to open the door. But I do. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Damn! What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? The killer struggled getting into the bathroom. And the evidence that proves it is... It is... The bathroom door... Wait, what? The killer struggles getting into the bathroom. And the evidence that proves it is... Oh, the bathroom door frame? Is it? There's no doubt, this fact is an important one. But what we need now is the evidence left behind that the scene which proves it. You do remember what was in your room, right? What got bro- Oh, what got broken, okay. What got broken in my room? Okay, well it's the other thing. The broken, uh, the bathroom doorknob. I got it! I got it! Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? The doorknob to the bathroom! What door- what- what other doorknob? The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh yeah, true. But what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Ah, thank you, Kyoko. Thank you. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? Nope. But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't see? Okay, then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Kyoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? Okay, well, there is something more to learn. Ah, oh, we have like another non stop debate over here. From here on out, the number, 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 of, the number of weak spots will start going up. Oh, but no matter how many weak spots, there's essentially one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak spots you see are necessarily false. Use a truth bullet on the wrong one, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. Now this is important because if you fail, if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. <clears throat> okay, it's starting to feel like uh, my Monokuma voice is going down a little bit. 
You have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun! Music! I am really having fun over here. Make your argument! Do the judgment dance! Bathroom door frame! The incident took place in Makoto's room. Saika was first attacked in the main room. Um. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked Nope! It. No, that's wrong! Judgment! Suck on that, Leon. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then... Why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup. True as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... Ah, shut it, Monokuma. Don't bring that here. <laughs> lucky at all god dang it so the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck but the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked so they tore apart the doorknob to get in okay but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place wait a second switching the nameplates if the murderer didn't think about switching the nameplates and instead, he was Sayaka for some reason. Wait, that won't even make sense. They switched? Wait a second. So my room had Sayaka's nameplate. The killer thought that, that, that my room was Sayaka's room. So wait, no. I still don't get about this door, like, nameplate thing. The thing that I thought about this sort of thing, like at the beginning of the game, and I'm having so much trouble trying to understand what is the point of the changing the nameplates, and who did it? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. Exactly. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. It's because of the changing of nameplates, right? Something the killer didn't know. For some reason, they were convinced the door was locked. Which means the important detail the killer didn't know was... The crime took place in... The crime took place in my room. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's... Inconceivable! Well, yeah! Because my room had uh, Sayaka's nameplate, that person thought that. Wait, what? No, wait. Uh, why am I having such trouble with this? And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? <laughs> I guess it is his own thing. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Okay. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! Yes. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But, the killer must have been considerably confused with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. Ha! Suck it, Biakuya. You didn't say anything bad, but still. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Then Makoto couldn't have done it. 
That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? Wait, was that in M Makoto's mind or was it something that he actually said there? It felt like he said that out loud. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. Because I am the Alpha and the Omega. But what happened? <laughs> we can't decide on what the who hell? you think did it. Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. Now, sit down, go back to sleep, Taka. Majority rules? You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Yeah, because remember, you were all blaming me. Majority devote my ass. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. <laughs> Man, she's she sounds so disappointing here. Oh, you. You don't gotta sound so disappointed. Yeah, exactly. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um... Come on, you can do it. Well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Yes, that is a good question, and I still don't know how. Hmm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Hmm, rubbing my mustache. Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... Maybe someone picked the lock? Using the toolkit? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Okay. I guess I forgot about that. I didn't know. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. Nope. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Or are you sure you know your own place, Yamada? I do have proof. Why exactly can't that be it? The reason there's no way Saka, Saka invited her killer into the room. I already have the answer, and that answer is. Wait, I don't have that type of evidence. How can I tell uh, Yamada that. That Sayaka told that he would uh, that, that she would never open the door for anyone, even if it was me. Switching rooms. I got it. Okay, there you go. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely will not. I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. Well, then, how did the murderer get in? She wouldn't let anyone in? Is that true, Makoto? Time to find that out. In the next episode! Ah!